Hi, I'm Joshonda Simmons, and this is DB Troll, and we're here from Kid Fest in Durham, and we're here to say... Good morning, Heart of Carolina! And good morning, Kid Fest, and the rest of the folks in the Heart of Carolina on this Monday. It's 619, now 59 degrees outside. Your forecast is at the bottom of your screen. Now, here's what's making news in the day ahead. Hello, and welcome to our channel with lots of music and videos. If you like it, hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. We have lots of videos and plenty of music. I hope you enjoy your visit here. Now, let's get into these videos. Kid Fest, Gospel Fest. Were they an organization or were they a TV show for children? Most people have you believe that Kid Fest and Gospel Fest was run by children. In the spring of 2000, Kid Fest was at its highest peak and very popular, appearing on a lot of shows in D.C., Tennessee, Virginia, South Carolina. They had got a lot of exposure through Time Warner Cable. Kid Fest was originally born in 1996 by Charlotte Tanner, Charles Alexander, and Catherine Alexander. It quickly grew by the spring of 2000. By then, the newspaper got a whiff of it, the TV stations got a whiff of it, and they couldn't believe the size of the children that were dancing on Kid Fest. They wasn't even five feet tall. And a lot of parents was totally surprised when they came into the studio. They had no idea of over 4,000 children from North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, all over the eastern seaboard. Some as far away as Texas. But then you had people like Edmund Mann of Star Search. You had the Apollo. You even had Opal Renfrey. Wanted to see this unbelievable size of these children and what they could do. But let's get started right here. We got a lot to cover. Kids Fair's office was at North Duke Mall in Durham, North Carolina. Started by these courageous producers, Charlotte, Catherine, and Charles Alexander. Catherine was the executive producer of Gospel Fest. It was born four years later after Kid Fest. But the hard work that she put into it made it all more interesting of how her show turned out. Now, Charlotte Tanner, on the other hand, started with Kid Fest in 1996. She created the Muppets of Kid Fest. And every Saturday between 8 and 12, she would take her time to set up Kid Fest. She goes to the studio, she does post-production, she gathers all the shows before they are aired on time on the cable. But she gets into the studio and she gets the diameter of the floor, make sure the light fixtures are fixed. Then you have Kimberly Alexander. She did all the work for the children, like with the cartoons and drawing and things of that nature. That was her specialty. And she loved working with the Kid Fest kids. Miss Beverly Bryant, wow, she was real good. She was the very first floor director. She started in 1996. Mr. Joe Simmons, he was a producer for Kid Fest and also Gospel Fest. He helped control the floor. Ms. Stephanie Cooper, she was the floor manager and also the den mother and the mother of one of the most youngest 
child in there, Cherie. Charles Alexander, he's the executive producer of the show. He did the engineering, he did the marketing, he did the producing for both Gospel Fest and Cape Fest. The city of Durham, North Carolina, allowed him to use their logos and signs on their buses throughout the city. Parents throughout the United States was ordering CDs and DHSs at the time of Kid Fest and Gospel Fest. There was a host of interns and volunteers to pitch in and help with Kid Fest and Gospel Fest. There was a lot of guests and hosts that entertained with Kid Fest. Mardi Gras Gorilla, North Gator, Daddy Long Day, Happy the Clown, and Cotton the Clown. Also, the city provided for the children to learn, the police department, and the fire department, and also Durham Transportation that would come out and show the kids. Now, Cherie and her brother Corey was the oldest two kids of Kiss Fest. They would report every Saturday to where Cherie was the youngest to take the part of becoming the host of the very first Kid Fest and Gospel Fest. Now, other kids taking right to become a host. To Shonda, Mr. Simmons' oldest daughter. Casey, Mr. Simmons' youngest daughter. You had Bria, she was the host for Gospel Fest and Kid Fest. And that was the very first time that a child would host two shows at one time. They brought in their own ideals and the producer let them do and say the things that they thought was very important to themselves and their audience. Tilia was for Kid Fest. They formed a group that interviewed people, which was a very brilliant idea that the children brought up. Maurice was for Gospel Fest. He loved to read scripture. Misha was the guest of Gospel Fest. Diamond of for Kid Fest. She commanded and took the show over until the show ended in 2008. These are the group of Gospel Fest. They appear regularly. Children from the age of 4 to 16 years old to express themselves through dances. Parents will align themselves in the lobby of the studio. They enjoy watching their children on Kid Fest and Gospel Fest. The babies, they love to do Muppets. A lot of them like to sing. And as small as they were, they all had talent. On Saturday, they gather, sometime for anniversary, most time for arts and craft. But this is what they do prior of going to the set. 
most of the kids and sit and watch Kid Fest, watch the format. Now let's meet the kids of Kid Fest TV show. Kids love fundraising for the homeless. This is one of their Christmas drive. So was Kid Fest a TV show, production, organization? No, Kid Fest and Gospel Fest was children. 